All right, what's up, Bulldog? Today, let's talk about forgiveness. All right, this is, uh, <laughs> I know you don't want to talk about this. I know that this is not the topic that uh, most people like, but let me tell you this. If you're, if you're hurting right now, if you're holding on to some pain, if someone's harmed you, which that's everyone, and it's eating you up, right? You feel some bitterness in you. You, you feel like someone deserves to be hurt the way that you've been hurt. If you're feeling those feelings, maybe some anger about the situation or about what someone has done to you, listen up because I'm going to help you right now. I'm going to give you the best advice you've been given in your whole entire life and you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it one bit at all. I promise you, you're not going to like this, but it is it is the cure. It is the medicine that is going to make you feel better and is going to drastically affect your life and, and change you, okay? And, and the medicine is this, it's forgiveness. Now, I know, <laughs> and believe me, I am not preaching at you because uh, <laughs> that's not who I am. I don't, I don't subscribe to uh, religions, all right? I don't, I don't do that anymore. But I'm telling you that what most people think forgiveness is, is they think it's for someone else. They think if I forgive someone, I'm doing them a favor. That's not true. That's not true. They might ask for forgiveness, and if you do that, that, that's fine. That might absolve them of their internal feelings of guilt or shame, which is a good thing to do for a person that asks for forgiveness. But most people don't ask for forgiveness, to be honest with you, at least the people that uh, you're holding on to that forgiveness about. And the thing is, it's not for them, it's for you. And the reason why it's for you is because it's kind of like this, all right? I was just talking to my daughter about this because she went through some, some stuff at her school and, and, and stuff. and. And she's struggling with that with, with some of the kids and, and some other issues in her life. And I told her, it's like, you know, it's like someone gave you a hot coal and you're holding on to it. And then you're like, why am I hurting? <laughs> and I'm like, well, because you're holding on to a hot coal. I'm like, well, why are you holding on to this hot coal? Well, because someone gave it to me. <laughs> so just because someone gave you a hot coal and burned you with it doesn't mean that you should hold on to the hot coal. As soon as someone gives me a hot coal, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it like it's hot, all right? Because there's no need to hold on to something that is harming you. And that's what unforgiveness does, right? If you look at your life and you look at your, forgive, your unforgiveness, who is it harming? Is it harming the person that you intended to harm? Is it harming the person who hurts you by you not forgiving them? Are they staying up at night? Are they thinking about it when they're supposed to be sleeping? Are they thinking, oh, I'm not forgiven? No, they don't even care that they've hurt you, honestly. They might not even know that they've hurt you. They hurt you and then they moved on with their life and they forgot about it and they're fine and they're living their life and they're having a good old time and you are in misery, in pain, in anger, in bitterness. It's eating away at you, but it's not harming them at all. So why are you holding on to the thing that they gave you that's only harming you, right? Again, I'm not trying to blame you, <laughs> right? We all do this. We all have the tendency to do this. But I, but I will tell you that I have learned to forgive in my life. And when someone harms me, I let it go very, very quickly. I, I, I forgive them because I'm not going to harbor the grudge. I'm not going to hold on to that pain because I already know what it does to me. It destroys me from the inside out. It's like swallowing that coal, right? Some of us, that's what we do is we swallow the coal and now it's inside of us. And I'm saying, don't, don't do that. Don't swallow the coal. <laughs> the coal is bad. And here's the other thing about this. You have to understand, you think you can have unforgiveness for someone and not harm someone else, someone innocent. You become like the person who harmed you when you take on their coal, okay? What I mean by this is that hurt people hurt people. And you know this, you've seen this. Why did the person who hurt you hurt you? It's because they're hurt. You know this to be true. So then why are you gonna, uh, why, why are you gonna continue it forward, right? You think that you're above it? You think that you can be hurt and not hurt someone else in response? You think you can hold on to hurt and not become bitter and, and jaded and, and hurt other people? That it's untrue. You will become like that. And, and a lot of times uh, people will hold on to the hurt or unforgiveness because they're afraid of being hurt again. They're like, if I don't forgive this, if I just forgive this person and I just let it go and they don't have consequences for their actions, then they'll just continue to do the same thing to myself and to other people. 
And so that's why I'm holding on to the hurt. But you know that that's a bullshit answer. That's not really true. That's not why you're holding on to the hurt. You're holding on to the hurt because in some sick way, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good to hold on to the hurt, to be the victim, to feel that pain, right? Because the reality is, is that you're not going to, you're not going to harm them by holding on to the hurt, by not forgiving them. That's not what's going to happen. They're not going to get the, the uh, lesson in that. You know that that's, that's true. You know that they're not going to learn anything by you being unforgiving and, and being bitter and angry. That doesn't help in any way at all. You already know that that's, that's true. Then you know that's not going to prevent them from doing it to someone else. And you probably even know that by holding on to the hurt or trying to protect yourself, that it doesn't prevent someone from actually hurting you again. They can still hurt you. It, what, what actually does prevent you from them from hurting you again is for you to let go and fully forgive. Because when you let go and fully forgive someone, what happens is you start to have love for them. And when you have love for someone, you can start to see their pain. And when you can see their pain and you can see that they're reacting out of their pain, then you understand that the hot coal that you just let go of, it, they still have. They didn't let go of it because they have unforgiveness for someone else and that's how the cycle perpetrates and, and continues perpetuates that's what I'm saying okay it's really true so when you can see that in someone else all of a sudden they lose the power to hurt you because do you know why because now you can see why they're doing what they're doing you start to see that it's not personal that they are in a great deal of pain because they refuse to let go of some coal that they're holding on to and that pain is causing them to lash out and harm other people and when you see that cycle, you can stop the cycle. And guess what? When you start doing that and, 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 you, and you start thinking that way and immediately your thoughts as soon as someone harms you is to forgive them, your life becomes a lot easier. You, your life becomes a lot better. You, all this stuff that you're holding on to right now, you can let it all go. You don't need that stuff. I, I promise you. <laughs> I know it's hard because you've been carrying it for such a long time and you think, I need to keep on carrying this burden. If I don't, then people will forget. People will, I cannot forget the pain that someone caused me. I can't forget the harm. I can't just let it go. I can't let them get away with that. And that's the wrong thinking. <laughs> because th that it's not true. And it harms you while you're holding on to that thing. And pretty soon what ends up happening is you forget why you even are angry. You forget why you had the pain and you just become a bitter and hurtful person. And I don't think you want that. And maybe you've already started to become that. And, and if that is the case, you gotta go deep inside, man. You gotta go inside and you gotta figure out where is this pain coming from? And then you gotta let it go. And you let it go by forgiving, by loving the person that, that hated you. <laughs> That's how you do it. I promise you, it's not an easy thing what I'm telling you. It, but it's also the easiest thing in the world because people say, well, I, I, it, it's so recent. It just happened. I, I can't let go of it immediately. Not enough time has passed. That's so untrue. <laughs> how long, how much time do you need to be holding a hot coal in your hand before it's enough time? Zero amount of time. That's the answer. You don't need to hold on to it at all. You never need to hold on to it. It's it's a misnomer. You you were you, you were wrong to ever think that you needed to hold on to pain. So forgive, let go of it. See how much lighter your life becomes. Trust me. I, and and I'm telling you this from my own experience, from my own bad beats. And there's still times where I have held on to pain, and I have to recognize that and be like, John, what are you doing, man? You're holding on to this hot coal. Why? What, what is the purpose of doing that? Just let the damn thing go. So let it go. I'll see you tomorrow.